Hi everyone, and welcome back to some more Phoenix Point. So, in this video, we'll be doing the fourth initiation mission, which is the diplomacy mission for the disciples of Anno. And if I do this mission, I will get aligned with them and get all of their research. My Thunderbird with seven soldiers on board is already here. So, let's get started. So, here we are. There will definitely be some rough opponents in here. But I got most of my strongest soldiers, so hopefully it won't be a huge problem. Let's see, so this is the corner. Let's go in this general direction. I definitely expect some Chirons and Sirens. Oh, wait, hold on, I think this is actually going to be a mission with New Jericho. Yes. This mission will actually have New Jericho, which could be a bad thing, because one of the weapons New Jericho has is a rocket launcher, which can really mess you up. It can pretty much kill your entire squad in one turn quite easily, especially since it doesn't take a lot of action points for them to use it, and it has massive range, and it does tons of damage, so we need to be careful here. We need to kill any heavies that we see, before they get a chance to react. We'll see how that goes. I can't see anyone just yet. Okay then, I bet they are going to be inside this building in here. That seems quite likely. Alright then, let's just move in this general direction. Yeah, New Jericho. Okay, well, at least I know what to expect. Now to actually deal with them. I do have some pretty strong weapons. I just need to catch them before they catch me. So let's check this building, shall we? There's probably going to be someone inside, if I had to guess. It's a pretty big building. Still, I can't actually see anyone, though. Which is slightly suspicious, I would say. Alright, get in here, everyone. I do have rallied the troops on, like, at least three soldiers, I think. So that will be quite helpful. And I do have dash, which uses four will points, so I don't really like using it too much. I mean, it can still be useful. Like this. But that drains four will points. Still, it can be useful to move a lot and then still take a shot. Alright, let's just overwatch on someone, or maybe not. Yeah, one guy. Just in case someone shows up. Yep, there's somebody inside. That looks like a heavy. Because he has a jetpack. Is that a heavy? Yes, it is. And he has the missile launcher. So this is exactly the weapon I was talking about. He needs to die. So this would be a good moment to use dash. If needed. And or quick aim. I might need quick aim on the snipers. Well, first, let's see how close we can get. I can get pretty damn close with the shotgun guy. Let's rush this dude. I can't leave him alive. There's another one. That's not a heavy, so that's not really much of a problem. Here's another heavy, though. I probably won't be able to take out this one. He's on the top floor. I will not be able to take him out. But I can probably take out this one. I mean, just the shotgun alone will do tons of damage. I don't think these benches count as cover. <laughs> but let's hit him in the face. I need to maximize my damage, and this will maximize my damage, alright? Here. That way I will hit him with everything. So, which piece of armor has the least armor? I could actually target his weapon, but I'm hoping to just kill him. Let's target the head. 
There we go, nice one. Okay. Who's next? I can try to do some damage to this fella up here, but it just seems very unlikely. I can kind of target him. So I could target him with a sniper. This guy does not have quick aim. Okay, let's see what we can do. Maybe I can take him out. It seems like a bit of a stretch. But alright, let's give it a shot. Maybe we can make it work. Hold on, don't take a shot with the sniper just yet. Maybe I can do this better. I can still move a little bit, but there's not much point. I can move away slightly, but there's not much else I can do with that fella. So where's the heavy? Right here. With the machine gun. Well, I only have one target. Let's go with that then. I moved away, so there's no risk I'll hit my own guy. Could have been better, but I'll take it. It was probably best to start with that guy, because that removed a little bit of armor, but a bit too late for that now. Mind you, that heavy still needs to die. I need to make sure he goes down. There's no possible way I'm leaving him alive. Okay, I'll take it. So, who actually has quick aim? One person has quick aim. There it is. Okay, right, let's use quick aim one way or the other. That does use a few will points. Oh, I can't actually target anyone. Never mind. I'm one tile too far away to actually target someone with quick aim. That's disappointing. I could overwatch or I could use the pistol. That's a possibility. I definitely won't be able to kill both heavies. I'm not even 100% sure if I can kill one. I can use my cannon. It's fairly unlikely to hit. Well, maybe not that unlikely. Let's give it a shot then. This needs to hit, because I need this damage. There's no risk I'll hit my own guy, and we missed. And this is with sniper armor. In all but one slot. And I missed like 90% of my shots with that. Well... Confirming target. So that probably means I'll eat a lot of damage. Let's try to kill this one. There we go, that will do. But that other heavy will be a major problem. And unfortunately there's no possible way I can kill him. We might as well target the sniper now and do at least some damage to the sniper. It won't be a ton of damage, but it's something. Yeah, I'll take it. And that leaves me with one more sniper. But he'll have to use the pistol. Now, I definitely want to spread out, because the missile launcher has a fairly large radius. I don't want to be completely exposed, because of the sniper. But at the same time, I do have 240 health. The missile launcher is a bigger concern. I don't really want to move in with this one. Let's try a dash. And then I can take a shot with my primary weapon. But there's not much point targeting the heavy, because that will not kill him. And I cannot target his missile launcher. Because it's on his back. Right here. So it's very unlikely I'll hit that. I could still target him, but it definitely won't kill him or her. It's not enough damage on its own. 
We're better off killing the sniper because, you know, snipers are still pretty dangerous. Yeah, he can do 130 damage with that weapon. I would prefer to just kill him. What's the least armor he has? 18. Alright, let's go for it. I would prefer to guarantee a hit. There we go, done. So that leaves us with the heavy. He will almost certainly use the missile launcher, so I'll try to spread out some more. That's about as much as I can spread out. It wasn't a bad turn, all things considered. Hey, maybe he will hit himself with it. Probably not. Nice angle. He only hit one soldier from the looks of it. Here's another sniper. Please don't kill me, thank you very much. I might need a medkit over there. You there, heal yourself. That's better. Alright, how do we deal with this? That heavy needs to go down. Which should be pretty easy now. Did I lose my weapons? Yep, I lost my sniper rifle. So that's the most annoying thing about these guys. They can destroy your gear quite easily with the missile launcher. If I miss with my cannon again, I'm kind of screwed. There we go. If only that happened on the previous turn. Because now both of my snipers are basically useless. Unless I can pick up a weapon from some corpse. Still got one sniper, however. I think we eliminated the biggest threats, so at least there's that. Okay, quick aim won't really do me much good. Because I cannot get line of sight. No Hopefully there aren't any more heavies. Because two missile launchers is quite enough. Let's just dash towards this guy. I can't kill him on this turn, that's definitely not happening. Probably on the next one. Any cover I can move into? Yup. Can anyone take a shot? Doesn't look like it, no. Let's overwatch then. Because he can't really see me either. Still got a pistol. Which isn't exactly a very good weapon, but... At least it's still there, you know? Oh, actually, hold on, I need a heal. Is anyone else bleeding? Is that sniper bleeding? Yes, he is. But somebody else has to help him. Can I even use that medkit? Yeah, not anymore, not on this turn. You'll have to wait for the next turn, I'm afraid. Maybe hide somewhere? At the same time, I don't want him to be too far away. Okay, that will do. Alright then, I don't think this will be the last soldier. Probably not. Uh, that was way too much damage right there. Nice shot. Yeah, there's no way that's the last enemy in this mission, at least I don't think so. I wouldn't mind if he was. Not quite good enough. There we go. Are we done? Yeah, we are actually done! Okay! So, it was mostly the two heavies. Having said that, they could have easily killed my entire squad. If I got really unlucky. And level 6. So now, I will get all the research from the apples of Anu. Keep on this and there path. it is, 200 tech, 200 materials, and 200 food. Hierarch. And after him, and we also got a new recruit. Of the Synod of Yearning. All right then. So now I got 54% and I'm aligned. And now I can do the research instantly. There's not that much right now, but they will get more as time goes on. So the samples of Anno equipment. Let's see. Basically armor, as well as the shotgun and ammunition for the shotgun. More speed on the armor. That might come in handy for anyone with melee weapons. Mutation technology. So more armor with extra modifiers. 
there is immunity. That's not too bad. However, minus 15% accuracy. Stomper legs. Plus 20% accuracy and stomp. Also minus 2 speed. Perform shock attack affecting a 5 tile radius dazing targets if shock value is higher than target hit points. Shock damage falls off with range. And regeneration torso. Restore 10 hit points to all injured body parts and the general hit points each turn. That is nice, but minus 10% accuracy. Still, that's not a bad one. And we actually have more. Disciples of Anno aircraft. I don't actually need that right now because I have the aircraft I stole from New Jericho that can carry seven soldiers. Not to mention I don't have the space. Anno religion. Berserker class. I do have one Berserker already. Or do I? I actually don't remember. I think I had one. I do have a priest. So Marduk's Fist, Nergal's Wrath. So this is probably the highest damage handgun in the game. It doesn't have amazing accuracy, but it can do a lot of damage for a handgun. A helmet. Plus 10 perception. Not a lot of armor. Alright. Yeah, this is actually a lot of research. More than I thought it will be. Some melee weapons. 30 bleed. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Especially if the bleed stacks, which I'm pretty sure it does. Anu priest class. Yep, I have one priest already. And here's some armor. Radiant hope. Leaving allied units within 7 tiles recover 2 will points at the start of the turn. Instills frenzy in friendly characters within 20 tiles for 2 turns, increasing their speed by 50% and making them immune to panic. Alright then. Increasing their speed by 50%, that seems pretty good. All friendly characters within 20 tiles. 20 tiles is a lot. This actually seems really nice. Psychic Scream. Scream reducing the will points of all enemy units in an 8 tile radius. And there's even an accuracy bonus on the Judgment Head. I like this. This is probably the best armor piece so far. The Judgment Head. Alright, next up. Fungal Food Protection. Food Production Facilities increase output by 25%. Yeah, that's not too bad. And Advanced Mutation Technology. Perceptor head plus 20% accuracy. Okay. Plus 30% stealth. Electric kick. Perform a melee kick and the day is target if shock value is greater than a target hit points. And tentacle torso. Okay. Tentacle attack. Perform a melee attack and apply paralyzed damage. And tentacle retaliation. So that's basically like a melee return fire kind of. Well then, and it looks like that's it. That was all of the research. So, that's the Sapos of Anu. That's actually the first time I got aligned with them. So, there's that. Now I need to find a base. Because if I don't find a second base in some reasonable future, this campaign is done for. Because I can't really build any more facilities. I used all of the available space at my base. So, I cannot build anything else. And you can speed things up a lot by building more facilities. You just really need another base for it. And it can be anywhere at this point. However, that's going to be the end of this episode. I mostly wanted to showcase getting aligned with one of the factions and show you their research. But that's going to be the end of it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. And subscribe for more videos just like this one. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.